boy lost his prosthetic leg while swimming in the Gulf of Mexico in Galveston. J.C. Swindoll was hit by a rogue wave that knocked off his artificial limb. After searching and searching, his family was at a loss. But what they found was something bigger, much bigger, the good in people. Tonight, KPRC2 reporter Gage Golding is sharing how dozens of people helped this boy get back on his feet. Oh, it's warm. I want you to meet Jace Swindoll. Inflated in the waves? Yep. Jace is nine years old, and just like about every other nine-year-old at the beach, so he just kind of dove into the first wave itself. This is the Swindoll's happy place, especially for Jace. But this Monday on Galveston Beach was different. He ran out there when he saw those waves, and, and I didn't get a chance to take his leg off. Jace is a fighter. He entered this world with an uphill battle. Born with hydrocephalus and amniotic band syndrome, doctors amputating part of his left leg at birth. He was our little miracle. Just recently, he got a new prosthetic leg, but within seconds of being in the Gulf, a wave washed his leg away. I was just happy to see him having a good time, yeah. and I wasn't really thinking about it. It was two parts. One rolled up his leg, and then the actual foot with the leg clicked into that, and we had never had an issue with it falling off or anything. Immediately, his whole family started searching in the water, on the sand, and everywhere in between. Not too long after, lifeguards, beach patrol, and even other families joined in. I mean, everybody, it was a, a valiant effort on everyone's part, but the sea won that day. Jace's new prosthetic leg was gone. They didn't let this ruin their family vacation, but they did post on Facebook, just in case someone came across his leg. It's then they found it the good in people. We saw that so many people wanted to donate. They started this GoFundMe, and within days, not only did they raise the $7,000 needed to buy Jason a new prosthetic leg, but people kept giving, raising nearly $11,000, all because good people just want to help. You hear so much bad stuff in the world today, and this, that's what I've told my husband, like, if you don't believe in God before this, Here's your sign. Like, mm -hmm. this was a godsend. The good people from Galveston helping a family more than 200 miles away, helping a kid, a regular old kid, get back on his two feet. Jace, is there anything you want to say to all the people that that helped make, make this happen? Thank you. Thank you. Reporting on Galveston, Gage Golding, KPRC2 News.